Hi, this is Rian from Must Be New. In this lab guide, I'll show you step-by-step -step process of creating and configuring NIC teaming on Windows Server 2022. NIC teaming is a very nice Windows networking feature that lets us use more than one adapter in a pair mode, or you can say team, for better speed and more redundancy. When enabling NIC teaming, we will need at least two adapters present on the Windows Server machine, no extra software needed for that. NIC teaming provides the benefits through link aggregation, means sending traffic over multiple network adapter. It also provides fault torrents, that means if one of the adapter of your NIC team goes down, the other adapter still continue communicating with the network. So without any failure, your computer is still connected with your local network. So let's press controller to delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Let's type administrator user account password and press enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. Let me close it and let's click on local server. Now we have already added two NIC cards in this server, Ethernet and Ethernet2. And both are configured to obtain IP address automatically from a DHCP server. So we haven't assigned any static IP address on any of those network adapters. We will use Ethernet and Ethernet2 adapter to configure NRC teaming. So on server manager, you need to click on local server and then after to create NIC team, you need to click on this disabled link in front of NIC TV. Let's click on it. Uh, here we can see uh, those network adapters available on our server, Ethernet and Ethernet 2. And uh, we don't have any NIC teaming created yet. So if you have an existing NIC team, which you have created on your server, those will be listed here. To create a new NIC team, we need to click on this task and select a new team. On NIC Teaming Console, enter a team name. Uh, in this scenario, we will use Team01 as a team name. Uh, you can assign any name of your choice. Then you need to select the network adapters to be added in NIC Team from the listed available network adapters. In our case, we have uh, only two adapters, so we'll use Ethernet and Ethernet to both adapters as a member of this uh, Team1. Let's click on OK to create new team using these two adapters. In VirtualBox, uh, initially I got an error, but after waiting for a few seconds, both adapters are now in an active mode and our NSA teaming is up and running. So we can verify the member network adapters of the NIC team and can also check the which network adapter is active or not. So here that options, uh, that information is available. Both adapter Ethernet and Ethernet 2 are in an active state. And now that the new team is created, you should be able to assign an IP by going to the properties of your NIC team adapter. Okay. And suppose if you want to delete NIC team at any time, you just need to select NIC team, click on task and select delete. If you want to modify any properties of it, then simply you need to click on properties. Okay. I'm going to close it and here as you can see team 01 is there instead of Ethernet and Ethernet 2. So let's assign a static IP address to this NRC team. For that I'm going to click on this link which is going to open network connection uh, window. And here uh, both adapters are still there. If we go to the properties of that network adapters, uh, we will be not able to assign the IP address because that checkbox is clear. Okay. So to assign the IP address, we just need to go to the our network team adapter, which is team01 in our case. Right click on it and go for the properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, select properties, select use this following IP address. And here I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.96.11 for the default mask. Gateway is going to be 192.168.96.1 and DNS is going to be 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Perfect. Okay, close. 
Uh, you can check the NIC teaming by pinging it continuously from another computer using the command ping space 182.168.96.11-t. Now let's check that out as well. Let's go to a Windows 11 computer. I'm going to open the command prompt. Let's uh, ping 192.168.96.11-t. I think firewall will definitely blocking the ICMP request. So let me open the firewall as well. And temporary, uh, I'm going to turn off Windows firewall or we can add exception as well. But I think let's temporarily disable the firewall. Okay, we are getting reply back from that IP address. Now disable one NIC card of the team 01, for example, either Ethernet or Ethernet 2 and it would still ping the server without any impacts. So let's check that out. Let's try to disable Ethernet 2 network adapter. Let's disable it. And let's check the output of the ping command on our Windows 11 computer. And here we can see Windows 11 computer is still able to communicate with our server on the IP address 192.168.96.11 even after we have disabled one network adapter. So let's enable it. And uh, this is how we can create an IC teaming on Windows Server 2022. That's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.